He's in the circle only radical. Uh, we're at 20 yards. I don't know how many I just fired, but I know some of those are going to be high. We'll walk down and we'll walk down and see what we have. Uh, I only have three rounds left. I'm just going to fire these last three. We'll see. We'll see what our target looks like. So, that kind of makes sense. I'm going to have to move my steel, move the target forward because the debris coming off the steel is shredding the target. As you can see, I'm kind of all over the place. I have some in here is where I was aiming. Uh, but without that precise point to aim, you're just kind of guessing. All right, so we're going to shoot this target with the dot only. Same thing at 20 yards. Big oh yeah, we'll have one that's pretty low, two left, but there's a huge difference between the two targets you're shooting with dot only and with, <clears throat> excuse me, with the circle only, just the level of precision that you can get. So I'm going to cover this one and then I'm going to shoot one with the circle and the dot reticle. So we'll test out all three reticles. All right, last string back at 20. This time we're doing the circle and the dot together. 32 MOA circle with a two MOA dot. All right, so this is more similar to the dot only, which is what I expected because I do have something in the center. Uh, the only thing that I noticed that the circle was causing my eyes to look at the circle a little bit more than I should have been. I should have been focusing on the target. Um, so it does reflect there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about half in the four by six, seven. That's around one, two, three, four. So 14 in the six by six. Six by six is what I would like to get from that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then I have a few out on the paper, but a little high. And that's me. Um, I felt that when I jerked the shit out of the, uh, the grip when I pressed the trigger. All right, so in summary, what I found was the circle only reticle is faster. Just having that bigger uh, reticle compared to the two M MOA dot uh, is faster. Uh, but it's hard to be more precise because you don't have that defined aiming point in the center. Uh, the circle and the dot ha also has speed advantages over the dot only, but for me, there was so much going on that it was hard for me to stay target focused. So I found myself looking at the reticle, which you're not supposed to do when you're shooting a dot. Um, so I ended up returning to the dot only, but I wanted to test all three just to see what would happen instead of just guessing what would happen. Um, and pretty much it went the way that I expected. Um, there are some people that do use the dot and the circle together, um, but for them, I guess their eyes are better uh, equipped to stay target focused and not get distracted by the huge reticle with a dot moving up and down as you're shooting the gun. Um, but I'm back to the dot only. I honestly wish that uh, they would come out with a slightly larger dot, maybe about four MOA would be perfect for me. Um, but for now, I'll just deal with the two. Um, either way, if you have any questions about the test, what I did, what I liked, didn't like, or anything I may have missed, go ahead and put them below.